Let's go, this is crazy. What a night. Well folks, welcome to Leech Lake. Today we're gonna to be chasing muskies and we're super excited to show you a brand new product that I'm releasing from the Net Buddy called the Musky Buddy. And what the Musky Buddy is, is a release mount that's gonna secure your net to the boat and keep those muskies healthy in the water while you'll get your release tools, your camera, get ready for pictures, grab the bump board. So hopefully tonight we can find a muskie or two, show you how the musky buddy works. And uh, these fish are gonna be pretty pressured today. The professional musky tournament trail was actually out here all day. We didn't know they were gonna be here when we scheduled this trip, but uh, you know we're gonna go chase some pressured muskies. We do got clouds, we got a little bit of wind. Hopefully it's a good night and we can put a muskie or two in the boat. Good one, good one. I don't think he's pinned that great. All right, I'm gonna stay back here until you think you're ready. Uh, I don't know how he's pinned. I saw him head shaking and I didn't see the lure down his. It's a good one. Oh, don't do that. I'm gonna have to free spool him. He's still got a lot of spunk to him. Yep, I'm gonna send him. Yep, he's holy smokes, this thing is fired up. Nope, nope, nope. It's hard, gonna be hard to turn. Ready? Yeah. Nope. Pinned on the left side of the mouth. There we go. There we go. Safely secured. Mid 40s, anyway. Hard to tell. He's got a lot of good. Well, folks, we got a beautiful muskie in the net here. Burning bucktails. Uh, end of August, early September. Pretty standard bite for northern Minnesota this time of year. We got a pretty cool product here. The musky buddy. It's a one piece here that'll attach to your net handle and it's fixed with a with a female bracket in your track. So once you net your fish, you can slide it right in. You know, we're, we're so used to shoving the handle in cooler handles or or uh, tackle box handles to hold the fish. But once it's here, it's locked in and you can uh, you can slide the, the net back for easy reaching in, pulling the fish. We got the bump board set up. This is really good for the fish. It's rock solid, secure, safe, not going anywhere. Fish is healthy. You can see we got it upright in the net. <clears throat> Putting the musky buddy to use. Keeping her nice and green. You can see she's got all the color. Held nice and safe on the side of the boat. Quick measurement. Her equilibrium's good. You can see she wants to go right down. Smaller one, but I think it's a muskie. Little guy. Gotta catch some little guys. But it is a muskie. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh it's funky little guy. Yeah. Fish number two of the evening. It's not a giant. But well, we're gonna get a look at it. It's got really nice colors. Small fish, natural reproduction. They're awesome. Normally we don't really measure these little guys, but it is fun to see, knowing that a 32 and a half inch fish can turn into those five O's eventually. They got the best colors though, when they're young and healthy like that. Real thick for its size. But look at the colors, just awesome. Natural reproduction on this lake. Rolls right back to his little weed bed. 
That's awesome. Here we go, here we go. Got him! Got him! Good one! Free spooling! Free spooling! Free spooling! A little smaller than the other big one. Mid 40s. Seeing him coming from a long ways away. They got nowhere to go in the shallow water, but into the weeds or out of the water. This guy wants wants to be in the weeds. Ready? Ready? Uh, no, next one. Next one. He's it looked like he's pinned pretty good. Nope. God, I can't even lift them up. Nice. I think this was racing in on it. First big turn, and uh, in these waves, I like to try to keep the lure away from the boat so it's not smacking and spooking them away. One big circle. I'll turn that thing just raced up on it. I'm using a pretty bright bucktail. And I saw that bucktail just disappear, and I just boom leaned right back into them. And the fight was on. We're in seven feet of water, and in that shallow water, they got nowhere to go but up or right into the weeds and just bulldog you and then he went right down and just kept bulldogging me it's a good fish we've got him secured into the net buddy already he's not going anywhere unpinned sitting here reviving nicely i mean you can see he's green he's going to be kicking on me when we go for our measurement so we'll try to be quick about it another good fish in that four foot class maybe just under we'll see 40 46 and a half. 46 and a half. Nice good, fish. Good fish. Real nice fish. Boy, we're bouncing in the waves, shallow water. That musky buddy really does the trick. Holds them just nice and set, solid on the side of the boat so you can get in there and do your work, get them unpinned. Quick measurement, quick pictures. And this one's going back in the water. There she, she's going right there. Thanks, big girl. That was fun. Good fish, good fish. Yeah, it is. Good one, good one. I knew that lure was gonna get chowed. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. That's another good one. Oh my gosh. Woo! Locked in. Heck yeah. Yes. And talk about a crazy night. This is fish number four in the last two hours. Another mid 40s. What did this thing eat, Jake? It's like a bucktail that's got a float <laughs> on it. I don't even know the name. We'll show it to you. Pugsley or something? You just bought it at Reed's. All right, number four of the night. It's ready to go. Set it off to the deep. Right back down to our weed bed. Let's go, this is craziness. What a night. 